Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? So, Bungie released an update for the light dark glow preview, and there are pretty few things that I pretty like. Like right now, I guess I can show you. I have 20 exotic shards. You guys wanna know how I got 20 exotic shards? Basically, I just mounted the majority of my exotic thing that I used to have. And guess what? Now they are putting it back in the sewer. Guy, Aging of Night, he's gonna have all of his weapons that I used to that I dismantle it, even the, uh, the Balahorn. So, for you people that don't have the Balahorn yet, they, you know, pretty much have a high chance of getting the Balahorn. So, these are new food things that they put up there. They're gonna be a lot of helmets. Uh, the Galahorn, the new Galahorn that is coming out, is gonna be on Aging of Sewer, the one that looks like like a shark. And you can also buy. With um, this thing hasn't come out yet, but let me just skip that. They also gonna put the two the two helmets from the Warlock, the red hair helmet that people are like. It's really hard to try to get it. I pretty much don't care about those helmets. So the new things are this. Uh, by the way, the Dark Below is coming December 9th, 2014. And in the raid, like the boat of glass, people didn't have a high chance of getting gear. Like they pretty have like little low chance. Now in the new raid, in the Dark Below, there's gonna be higher chance. I don't think I, I I agreed on that, but whatever, it's their choice. They want people to get level 32 fast enough, then put people board. That's their choice. Alright, there's gonna be new mech, mech for PvP players. There's gonna, gonna be uh, 6 to 12 players in the PvP that you can be fighting against each other. 12 players, man. If you think about it, 12 v 12. That's crazy. The new maps are the following. Let me look it up right now. Right now I'm just try to remember what I saw. One of the map one of the crucible map uh, are is called Patian, the other one is called Sharhawk and the Cauldron. I don't know, something like that. Alright, let me see what else right here. Um, heroic and nightfall PvE changes with the light level increased to, to 32 heroic and nightfall will be increased by two light levels to keep up with the new content that will increase in your item that's pretty good that was obvious that they were going to increase that because come on they don't want you to go through the nightfall like crazy and weekly like just going around Ray Lu and Crota and will drop at a higher rate that's what I said before New raid gear will contain a variety bar variety of potential perks. Yeah, I know that already. Native sharks and radiation energy acquired in the raid will be used to upgrade new raid gear. Hmm. Wanted weapon and gear from Crota and will be dismantled into radiant materials. That's nice. Alright, so that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna show you a picture, guys, of what Agent of Nice is gonna be having. All this weapon that I dismantled it. Pretty much, I'm gonna buy it back and dismantle it again. Pretty much, don't care about those weapons. There was the one guy who got pretty mad. What the fuck are you doing, man? You dismantled all the best helmet, all the best. Wow, I don't give a fuck, man. It's my choice. I level up my guy. And. If you wanna buy another new thing, if you wanna buy a weapon now, like for the PvE stuff, content and PvP, they actually going to replace that. All the new, th all the old things that are right now in the PvE, um, Vanguard dude, robot, they going to be replaced. So if you need to buy something right now, just go ahead and buy it because they going to replace it, and you're gonna have to buy new stuff. They also say that the uh, legendary. Um, gear that are not from the raid they're gonna be less powerful i mean obvious it's pretty obvious and uh, raid gear is always more powerful come on buddy you know that we know that so it should always be like that from the beginning all right so that's pretty much it guys see ya soon